Welcome to a special Spartan Sports Review. I'm your host, Ian Clunan. Everyone in East Young Meadow wants a Spartan victory. The season has been one to forget. The team has been plagued by injuries and the loss of great seniors from last year has been a burden on the Spartans. Let's get right into it. Spartans versus Putnam at ELHS last Friday night. This game was an instant classic from the get-go. The Putnam Beavers needed only eight plays to get to the end zone when quarterback Cecil Vila threw an 11-yard pass to Davin Peterson for the touchdown. Just about to punt the football back to the Spartans, the snapper for Putnam snapped it over the head of the punter and the ball flew its way all the way to the Spartans' 16-yard line. Three plays later, Eli Johnson ran the ball into the end zone to cut the Beavers' lead to just two. Late in the second quarter now, Putnam marched down the field where Vila would throw a pass that was deflected and intercepted by Jack Davitt. He would then get tackled at the 33-yard line. The Spartans have never let it the half this whole season when sophomore kicker Patrick Malmberg hit a 27-yard field goal to give the Spartans a 9-8 edge at the half. The Spartans only gained 47 yards in the first half and only two first downs. Coming out of the gates in the second half, the Spartans fired on all cylinders. The Spartans marched down the field to the 13-yard line when Aiden Ward ran in for the 13-yard score to pat on another eight points to make the score 16-8. On the next Spartan drive, backup quarterback Cam Otteson threw a perfect spiral downfield to Eli Johnson for the 44-yard touchdown. Otteson wasn't done yet, though. He scrambled his way into the end zone for the two-point conversion to give the Spartans a defying 24-8 lead. Fourth quarter now, and everything was going the Spartans' way when Putnam struck a run. With three minutes to go in the game, senior running back for Putnam, Calvin James, found his way into the end zone, capping off a big comeback by Putnam. The Beavers scored two touchdowns on 10 plays on 70 yards and 11 plays on 68 yards, which made the game knotted up at 24. Otteson and company got the ball back down to the 40-yard line, with Otteson looking downfield to Eli Johnson. However, it was intercepted by Calvin James with just about two minutes to go. Following an offside penalty by Putnam that brought them back to the 10-yard line, Putnam tried to juke out the defense and the ball came loose. It was picked up by Aiden Ward and the Spartans had another shot at getting into the end zone. Following the fumble, Otteson handed it off to Johnson who swept out the, de the Putnam defenders and ran in for the touchdown. The Spartans went for two points and Otteson successfully handed the ball off to Jordan Powell who dashed left right into the end zone. Putnam would now need a touchdown and a two-point conversion with a minute to go. With the time left on the clock, the Spartans tried a squib kick that was picked up neatly by Putnam, giving them a great field advantage. Putnam had a very interesting game plan by using the running game and using much of the clock. Tick, 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 tick. Putnam got to the 20-yard line and called a timeout. Next play, the Putnam QB dropped back and flew a flea flicker right to his... No! It was intercepted by senior QB Tristan Longmore. And with that, the Spartans win their first game of the season, defeating Putnam 32-24. It's also the first win for coach Matt Sullivan at the helm of the Spartans. The Spartans will use this win as a positive for next week and will try to get another win, this time against West Springfield on senior night. We will be back next week with another full edition of Spartan Sports Review. I'm your host Dean Clunan and go Spartans!